Hi, I'm Stephen Law with Crossroads GPS. The Obama folks are trying to push back against our most recent ad, which holds President Obama accountable for a long list of broken promises. In the end, what they're really pushing back against is reality. The reality that Obama made a lot of promises on the economy, on the national debt, on rescuing homeowners, and on unemployment. And virtually none of what he promised has materialized. They're essentially frustrated with reality. Let's start with Obama's broken promise to help folks who are underwater on their mortgages. Just last month, the New York Times said, a fund to support homeowners hit hardest by the collapse of the housing bubble has dispersed just 3% of its budget and aided only 30,640 homeowners out of 9 million promised in the two years since its creation, according to a federal watchdog office. The next broken promise is on taxes. President Obama promised that if you're a family making less than $250,000 per year, you will not see your taxes go up. In a separate speech, he said this meant, quote, not any of your taxes would go up, period. Here again, you don't have to trust what we say. A fact-checking organization named PolitiFact calls this a broken promise. That's because the Obamacare law imposed an individual mandate that the administration itself called a tax when arguing it in front of the United States Supreme Court. Now, if Stephanie Cutter wants to call Obama's own Supreme Court argument BS, she can do that, but somebody ought to let the justices know. Third is President Obama's broken promise on being able to keep your health care plan. Obama said, if you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. That's pretty clear. But first of all, tell that to the 13 million seniors whose Medicare Advantage plans are being gutted because of Obamacare's draconian cuts to this important program. Second, let's see what the Congressional Budget Office report has to say about the impact of Obamacare on families' employer-provided health plans. The CBO estimates that 3 to 5 million fewer people will obtain employer-based health coverage because of Obamacare, and it could rise to as many as 20 million. Finally, is the real boondoggle promise of them all, where Obama promised he would, quote, cut the deficit we inherited by half at the end of my first term in office, unquote. The Obama folks actually tried to push back on this promise, too, again demonstrating they live in a parallel universe where forward is the new backward and up is the new down. Here's a graph on the federal budget deficit. This data was actually taken from the White House's own website, and we'll provide a link to this table at the end of the video. As you can see, the deficit went from $1.4 trillion to $1.29 trillion to $1.3 trillion to $1.33 trillion this year. Now, I'm no math professor, but it's pretty easy to see that Obama's promise to cut the deficit in half is broken. In fact, not only is the deficit virtually unchanged on Obama's watch, but this president charged an unprecedented $5 trillion to the national debt in just four years. So what do we have here? We have a president who made a lot of promises about how we would turn around the economy, not raise taxes, cut the deficit, and provide health care to everyone. But four years later, none of it has worked. It now looks like Mr. Obama doesn't know how to turn the economy around. And the new video makes it look like Stephanie Cutter and the Obama folks are angry at the reality that their policies haven't made things better, and in some cases have made things much worse. The good news is that there is a different way. At Crossroads GPS, we call it the New Majority Agenda. And for more on our roadmap to real recovery and growth, visit newmajorityagenda.com. Thanks for watching, and links to follow. Oh, and one more thing. Stay classy, Chicago.